Have you been told that there is a management reserve or a special contingency fund for projects and you can access it if there's a disaster on your project? Well, this is one of the common budget issues that I see where project managers have been led to believe that there is some mythical fund of money available to them in the case of disaster. We all want contingency funds on our project and often when we put contingency funds into a budget, they get taken out. I'm Elizabeth Harrin, I write about project management and this has happened to me. So I have worked on a project where I've put a budget together and the contingency line has just been removed. Because apparently my budgeting is so amazing that I didn't need it. Ha! No! <laughs> uh, but no, people don't like to have money tied up in um, you know, fake budgeting where they think that the money will just be spent because people can't keep within their budget limits or because that money is needed in other funds somewhere else or because they want to make the overall budget for the project look smaller. Whatever it is, there are reasons why contingency funds are stripped out. And yet we are told by executives and project sponsors, don't worry, you know, my department's got a budget for training. In my situation, it nearly always seems to affect the training pot. Don't worry, we can cover training. Don't worry, we can cover the health and safety. So you get to the point where you need that training money or you need that contingency for a disaster or you need whatever it is that you think you heard the sponsor say six months ago and you ask for it and you can't have it. Perhaps another project has spent that money. Perhaps the business strategy has moved on and the head office has clawed back the money. And that certainly happened in my um, old organisation as well. Um, it's needed for something else. So it's taken back from departments and that message never got through to you as the project manager. So there could be various different reasons, all good business sense reasons, why that money is no longer available. This is why it's really important for project managers, if you need contingency funds for your project, if you need some kind of management reserve, that it is ring-fenced and earmarked just for you, just for your project, and you need to get that confidence. If you can't get it in writing, have regular conversations about it, have regular reviews about what you might use it for, and how you're going to access it when the time comes. because. Chances are the time is going to come when you want to access that money. However, if you get to the point where you then uh, have had that disaster and you need to access the funds and you can't, that's a different conversation to have with your project sponsor around um, how you're going to approach the shortfall in the budget and how you're going to deal with this issue. And in my experience, it tends to be write a proposal for why you want extra funds, which is possible to do. I mean, we can all do that but it takes time and effort away from your other project management activities for something that should have been just as easy as accessing a different cost centre code and putting that onto the invoices for whatever. So there are governance processes around accessing management reserves. They're there for a good reason, but make sure you understand what they are and continually check that if you have been promised access to some secret pot of funds that falls outside your project budget, that it is still there and still available to you. That is my tip for today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.